Yes, hello, much love to you. It's been a while since I made a kind of an information video. So uh, I got messages or inspiration at least from Jesus and the other masters to write a little bit automatic writing and uh, I gotten something more so it seems to be separated into uh, different topics and uh, one of the topics which came first was uh, something called mastery so we are all soul consciousness uh, reincarnated on earth into a human body to learn and some of us or most of us have missions we are supposed to do but when coming in here uh, which is one of the deals by the Council of Nine, we forget who we are and that also creates opportunities to relearn and to create unique uh, experiences based on free will and the choice. So, uh, so there is a governing council over this uh, planetary system, the solar system in this galaxy and every solar system have their own council of souls uh, you can call it soul groups or higher consciousness which guard or uh, discuss who will reincarnate on earth and what kind of mission they have and what kind of uh, things they have to learn to grow and it all points back to the one creator the one soul which governs it all which is the creation you can say you can call it God whatever you want so I know this is of course in conflict with many religions but religions are very uh, compartmentalized they are very kind of knotted into their own vision which is separated into layers of course so but of course you have free will you can believe whatever you want but uh, when you start forcing your views upon others then that to you becomes a uh, low frequency because you are uh, overriding others free will and you are taking away their opportunity to take the choice which they self want so everything which is <coughs> abused with religion taking away free will and choice you are uh, moving away from what the creator wanted and that is love love to express yourself love to be creative love to uh, indulge yourself in a in community and have a family you know doing what you enjoy doing what excites you that's but what the problem is that we all have different things that excites us and then there become a conflict there if somebody doesn't like what you do and you don't like what them do and but it's all about frequency everything is frequency and everything is reflected back to the creator so most people just lock themselves into the daily life their family life you know I am here and you are there and I am better than you you are not better than me and that's the ego uh, most of us are here to indulge into that ego and to you know have it my way you can say we all want to have it our way because then we are happy or, or at least we think we are happy so that's just a human ego so but it's, of course there's a, this is just a, the surface story of it all about mastery we are all masters we all have our higher self which governs our journey here and our higher self comes in and looks back 
at everything and can come in and, and guide itself if it feels to. So I'm trying to en engulf this, you know, and trying to learn about these consciousness uh, endeavors and how consciousness works. And it feels very real and uh, sure, assuring that we haven't lived just this this life because I myself don't. Uh, I feel very comfortable on Earth, but there is something wrong here. There is something I don't can't pick out what it is. You know, there is something that is missing from my point of view. You, you see, or my own kind of frequency. I've kind of been looking for that all life, you know, but now it seems to have found what I, I, I am supposed to do here, and that is to learn others about this consciousness and to wake them up. But of course, first I had to wake up myself. So, well, so mastery uh, c coming from Jesus and other Buddha and other high. Master, there's many. We are all like Jesus. We can all be like him. We just have our own roads. Sometimes we are in a life where we are forgetting and we are in a life where we maybe we are walking a low frequency path. You know, maybe we are, it's like a flower, you know, expanding outwards. We are always expanding. We are always learning new things. You're always becoming your higher self, at least becoming on the way to your higher self. So, uh, but all has its meaning, all planes are planes of the Creator. So, uh, I've written, or that what came true was, the headline is Mastery. And uh, here you go.
Yes, there we go. And I uh, wanted to do a little bit special there, like a little bit music and uh, get you drawn into the writings. And uh, well, what can I say? So we are moving into quiz Christmas and we're moving into 2020 and there's a lot of consciousness talk on YouTube and inter people waking up, you know, they're kind of understanding that uh, uh, what we're doing here on Earth can't be uh, sustainable over time and it uh, doesn't reflect love. It seems, but it seems that it has tipped that we are now starting to understand that love is the most important thing and that to help others and to love yourself and love others but of course there's a all have their own role to go and uh, I myself uh, is fluctuating I am trying to learn this spiritual stuff and uh, about my own consciousness or about my own road and I'm trying to help others to and talks about UFOs and spiritual things consciousness you know trying to wake up my own family but uh, I can't uh, enforce them to to change or do anything else. It's just me uh, seeding a seed or uh, giving them wisdom on the information. That what they will do with it is up to themselves because people, some people don't want to uh, enlighten themselves and they, they don't want to. Uh, understand that there is extraterrestrials out there and there are other races and there are technologies which, which are hidden for us humans because of, of human ego and maybe other things too so I cannot speak about everything which is in the universe because then it's so much in so many different races there is a lot of different uh, confederations there are some which are warriors and uh, aggressive, uh, some types of insectoids and uh, lizards are quite warlike, but they are not kind of occupying other races. They are doing it in other ways because some, some are warlike, but they are more on an evolving path, you could say. Because the higher frequencies of love and light, that's where the, the, you uh, combine the consciousness with and the spiritual with the technologies. Like you can move your ship with your mind. Uh, if you have uh, uh, made the ship out of in, uh, fiber optics, you kind of lay your hands on the on the ship and you you think where you are going, and then the ship reacts. So it's kind of becomes the ship becomes a part of you that's how advanced the technologies are and also there are no uh, there can be radiation but there are no pollution there are no kind of there are mag mag magnetic uh, technologies involved and also some are uh, flying on some types of matter so I'm not going to go into all these uh, technologies because they are available just they are kept secret and uh, stowed away I guess uh, there are others which will come forward in the next decade talking about these things so of course if you humans are going to evolve if you're going to go out in space and be one planet we have to stop the secrecy we cannot have some groups ruling over all the others that's uh, it's going to uh, restrict the human race from uh, developing in the right way so I'm just not going to judge anything I'm not going to have anything negative meanings because if it, if it has happened it had happened but then we can also solve it we can solve it with love we can solve it with forgiveness we can uh, use our heart so uh, but enough about that there are of course uh, road to go I'm not going to uh, talk so much more about this uh, the end line is we are all masters 
we are all on the soul journey for the Creator. We are all expanding, learning who we are. We are all uh, seeing more of ourselves, seeing new perspectives. And now this life is a human perspective. Maybe another life you are a lizard. You're maybe a Ceteritikalian. Uh, maybe you are moving up to other frequencies, dimensions, uh, lives, realities. So. Uh, I recommend you to watch the Billy Meyer history because that's kind of will kind of wake you up or at least uh, lay a seed in you. So, which when uh, the uh, bang happens, or the you can say the event. Sorry, there for my English kind of went into a tor higher modus. When the event happens, when you know the spaceships are showing themselves and you can't hide away, you can't hide from the truth about the, the the it will happen sooner or later. Where the evidence is so overwhelming that you can't hide it, you can't lie it away anymore. It just you have to accept that we are not alone, and that then. They will land and they will communicate with us and then everything will change, you know. It will be a grand awakening. But the awakening of course is happening now too. People are questioning everything. So I would just want to say that we all are masters. You are a master. And if you're feeling like shit here, you are maybe from another planet or another frequency where you're, there is more technology, there is truth, there is love. You're not feeling like you're walking into fucking syrup all the time. And people are working against you and and uh, making a kind of a mockery out of you and using you as a as a, a chicken to hack on. It's uh, it's a lot of uh, it's many low, lower frequencies here. And uh, the being a human doesn't help, you know, with the ego. So, but of course you create your own reality. The only way to change is to change yourself. And, uh, but you are of course also uh, a little bit dependent of that others accept your change and that, and that you are uh, accepting that you are changing and that you are becoming a better man you know or a better woman or you're learning it's all in the forgiveness process you know get away from fear accept who you are forgive and then go on you know but of course uh, i'm not going to go more into that just leave it with that and then much love to you and whatever you are doing and whatever you love to do do what you love Love what you do, do what excites you. Of course, be with the people you love to be with, but don't judge others for who they are and what they are trying to change into or trying to learn, because we all have different experiences. And uh, if you see yourself as better than others, then yeah, that's your view. Maybe others see you in a completely other way but in the end we are all from the same light from the same beginning we are all souls of the creation and in the end all is equal all is worth the same we are all just having different experiences and uh, no one is winners no one is losers that's just the mind and the ego playing games so much love to you and I hope you learned something of this it's uh, not easy uh, becoming you could say or uh, changing but we can all do it we are all from the same light if you are on the lower frequency path you can always pull yourself out of it but it's up to yourself you know if you like being on that path, if you like uh, 
indulging into those lower frequencies. There's no one denying you to keep doing it, but don't expect that the higher frequencies will follow you down the depths of your own experiences or rabbit holes. So you are who you are when you are it. That's just how it is, but you can always change. Take all the choices. It's not hard to take all the choices. It's not bad. It's not seen as uh, strange or to suddenly understand that the path you are on is a destructive path and it is not loving. It is not uh, giving anything back to other people. So it's always possible to pull yourself out of it and think different, think more lovingly. lovingly. So, But of course I'm now babbling away, so uh, you have your own meanings, just how it is. But maybe you have learned something, So and uh, it's soon Christmas, and uh, New Year, so that will bring in new opportunities. Yes, much love to you. Here it is. I'm going to post it. I have posted it. You have seen it. Yes, have a nice day. Much love to you.